let's look at the daily picture for Bitcoin. This pattern is definitely close to what we had here. So the first part of the consolidation, a flat reaction without any sign of selling. Then a high high followed by a quick reversal on a high volume. And then an attempt to retest this level. Compared to the previous analog, this current trading range is a bit weaker since we have a lot of supply on the way down. This is the high probability scenario, some form of lower high followed by a correction. But when we compare all the reaction, reaction number one, reaction number two, and reaction number three, the volatility is increasing. And this is not bullish. When we look at the altcoin market, now I'm still trimming my position, I'm taking some profits on Bitcoin, I'm looking for lower, still keeping my Ethereum position, and even the stronger candidates assuring short-term deterioration in demand. There are still assets that are performing there, so Pendle is acting very, very well. I do not see any signs of deterioration for this coin. The best entry point was just around the main day moving average. So I see that many assets that are showing some strength are very young assets. And what we can detect from this, guys, our Wyckoff scanner is telling us that a lot of coins that are very young and are still creating a causality are not suffering a lot the overall pressure of the market. Assets like this will take some time to consolidate and then will turn into the market leaders of the next